you might want to somewhere along the lines put uh, open stellarium all right okay i'll try that all right and i don't know if can you minimize that or when you open it does it kind of take up your whole screen no i can yeah i'll take care of that all right so we're going to open just saying for john and we're here we're recording so go ahead, we're recording let, yeah let me and brother john me and brother john is we're going to share this story uh i think that there's something here um and i want to preface this by saying that this is not about what i'm going to show you in the sense of the images or the imagery but it is important in the sense of timing and what i mean by timing is in connection to the revelation 2023 sign that <clears throat> patrick has shown us so i think this is just the timing thing and i think it fits it fits scripture okay so this is what we're going to look at and well, let me open this up so i can want me to open I, up Starium now or? um well i think yeah maybe wait because i think if you're oh. like me it takes up the whole screen and you can't do anything else and and so i'm going to share this document with you okay um yeah. and it I may know. it may seem a little boring i don't know to some and to others it may be like wow this is good time so. boring, bro. this is all like waiting for the king of kings oh we're yes amen about, thank you we just we just gotta we're hanging in there. We're, we're believing and hoping with all of our might that this is the time. And man, I got some things too that I've been looking at. Awesome. And Ronnie and I have both been studying, brothers and sisters. So we're just, we're just talking. We're sharing. Here. Yeah, we're sharing. Yeah. So, all right. He goes, Brother Ronnie, he goes, your thing. Okay. Right. Yeah. So, um, I've had to I've had, I've had to prepare this. So um, I was I was looking at Stellarium, and I was prompted to look at Stellarium to see what, if any, connection the years twenty twenty three through twenty thirty may represent in relationship to uh, the Revelation twelve sign of twenty twenty three that we that we're now seeing. Okay. So that's all this was. That's how it started. Um, with that said, <clears throat> having looked in Stellarium, not an expert at it, but looking in Stellarium, I know that I have to use the terminology from the new general catalog, which is NGC. So I've looked at NGC 2023 through, uh, and I can see I missed one here, NGC 3030. Um, let's see. 2030. 20 um, yeah, I'm sorry. 2030. 3030. 2030. Why are we wrong? You make a mistake. I'll, 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 and I don't want to be here 3030. <laughs> so, um, we'll, be, we'll be going into the new millennium then. Uh, the new thousand year, eight, the 8,000th year. Amen. Amen. We were getting out of here before that, brothers and sisters. <laughs> But yeah, of course, oh, yeah. it kept in mind. Keep in mind that 2023 is, you know, um, is our rapture target, right? Our rapture window, our rapture year, um, before this, you know, Jacob's trouble starts, right? And uh, so the tribulation being 2024 through 2030. Um, and I, and I, again, I honestly didn't think I'd find anything of significance. Uh, but these designation or these star star clusters, I've I've got them all labeled. Um, are stationary. They've been there. It's seemingly uh, forever. They're going to be there. But it's again, it's not about them being there. It's about the timing in relation to um, Brother Patrick's uh, find of the right. Revelation 12. All right. Okay. All right. So let's go down. Um, what, read some of that, whatever, so that you can pick yeah, it up. Yeah, it just says, it, it oh, says so here. As, as, as you wrote it, you know, and then you can adjust. Sure. Some that. Okay. All right. All right. Um, Got it. Might as well read some of it. Well, these these signs do present, in my opinion, represent a story that goes with the Revelation 12 sign. In my opinion, this represents an ending of the story um, about bringing in the last fish. Okay. Uh -huh. So uh, here's what I'm looking at. The first two NGC 2023 and NGC 2024 took me directly to Orion. 
which was a surprise. Um, but what are the chances that these uh, designations would uh, take me to Orion in the crucial years of 2023 and 2024? Brother, what is NGC? What is that? NGC mean? is, as I, I, I stated it earlier, it's the, uh, let me go back up here. It is the new general catalog. And that's how they refer to uh, stars, constellations, um, okay, so on and so forth. So that's why I use the NGC term. Or the new general catalog or a catalog um, searching the... The, area. the heavens, the stars, like, yeah. Each of the numbers is for, for each year, 2023, 2024, 25, all the way right. up to 2030. Okay, all right, right. got it. All right. We're going to get down to some slides here in a minute, and then I'll explain to you what I'm looking at. Now, we don't, you know, we both don't so know that we're going to. It's 2023 to 2024, right in there. That's right. Orion, which we know is the belt of Orion, and then Job, you know, 38, you can't. Job and Amos, Amos 8.5. Yep, can now loose the belt of Orion, and yep, that's right. Right. Yeah. So it, it, it's interesting that it took me right there. So it was it was a pleasant surprise. Let's put it that way. All right. Um, so like I said, it it it, con it contributes to the story, which I believe is the last of the fish, which is the remnant. We're going to see this term remnant, and um, I believe that this could be the 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 gathering of the tribulation saints in those end. Time, in the end times during the tribulation okay so let's let's take a look at the first one right here okay it is ngc 2023 it says reflection nebula lump star in orion okay now that's why we might go ahead and look at eventually here bring stellarium up but i've got some images here and i've got this arrow that points exactly can you see that john oh yeah yep it points exactly to where this reflection nebula 2023 is at. And it's right there in Orion with the little blue box kind of around it. I'll make it What's that? Screen. I'll make it full screen for the moment. That way. Okay. Know, that way Great. Better. Yeah. You want. Um, all right. So, so let's take a look at this. Uh, I, I looked up the word. We've got lump star uh, in Orion. And of course, I'm going to look. We're going to look at all of these things. I looked at lump definition in the AB 1611, and it says to throw into a mass, to unite in a body hmm. or a sum without distinction of particulars, which means non discriminatory or detail. Okay. Right. But interesting that that term appears unite in a body. Unite in of course. That's There's your script. Gonna and we're going to be united in the body. Of, we are you, so much more than we are now because there's still, you know, division in, even amongst the body and the brethren and whatever. Right. When that they come, the Lord's calling us, we'll be united in that body. It's just interesting how it's in Orion and God said in Job and then in Amos. I mean, come on, bro. Right. And there's there's Amos, Amos 5 8 right there. I said 8 5 earlier, but it's I think it's 5 8. <laughs> Seek him that make it the seven stars and Orion. Yeah. And turn it the shadow of death into the morning and make it the dark, make it the day dark with night that calleth for the waters of the sea and poureth mm -hmm. them out upon the face of the earth. The Lord is his name. Amen. And again, uh, there's those reference scriptures right underneath there you were talking about, John. Yeah. Joel so, yeah. 38, right. 30 is the one I'm familiar with Isaiah right. 10. wow so it's it's interesting that it, it begins right here with Orion 2023 right here with Orion now we're going to go down to NGC 2024 20. it's called lips nebula or look at this burning bush wow burning bush nebula I was like no can't be huh gathering in one body by the burning bush. <laughs> By the burning bush. And then there's a little thing attached to it also. It says the ghost of uh, Alnatak or Alnatak. In mm. of course it's in Orion. It's right there again with Orion. Okay. You see the you see the arrow pointing to Al that. Nitka. It's Alnitka, which means Alnitka. You know what that means, brother? Yes. The wounded one. Alnitka okay. the wounded one. The Our wounded one. Nebula, ghost of Alnitka. Is 
the wounded one, ghost of the wounded one, the Holy nice. Spirit. Brother, nice. wow. <laughs> <laughs> we love. That's why we try Now, to before I get too further, people are going to say, well, when is this? Let me back up. Um, right here, you can see the, the date, okay? I this is... Quite. I can't quite. Well, it, it, it's, it's hard to see it. But you can read it, right? You can read to us. What I'm using... I'm using um, the ninth month, and it looks like I, I can't see it clearly, but it might be the fifth day or the 15th. This go, this is continuous, so this stays throughout. It, it doesn't move, okay? It stays throughout the year is what you're saying. Throughout the year, but we're in the ninth month, okay? That's what I'm where I'm taking these screenshots okay. of 2023, okay? Same with all of these screenshots. Same thing, all right? Um, so let me move down a little bit. And that's 2023. So, or, yeah, that's good. The burning bush. <laughs> yeah, the burning still bush. So, still in but, Orion. It, it's still in Orion. It's still in Orion. The first so and second. On Orion in the first, like between 23, 24. Not that we're going into 24, but that the, right. this is the connection, right? Of that. that right. Yeah. Well, these years are these years are not necessarily. This is about. It looks like it looks like the rapture year 2023, and then you got the seven year tribulation, right? So this kind of tells a story to me, um, and hopefully that does it blesses you, and you see the same thing that I'm seeing here. So uh, the scene at the burning bush reveals God to the world in one of of actual historic events with fire, of which there are four mentioned in the Bible. There's the scriptures right there, if you care or you dare to look them up, okay? Yeah, yeah. And like with anything that we do, brother, right? We tell everybody. Be a Berean, yep. you know, search, you right. know, Go for yourself, Re look up these and, you know, see where God yeah. takes you when you look them up. I love studying. That's why when these, you just get anything in it and the next thing you know, you're over somewhere else that you didn't even start out looking. And next thing you know, you're in another part of the Bible. God's leading you and showing you new things. So, yeah. Amen. Amen to that. So I'm going to scroll up here real quick. And at the bottom, you can see the, uh, the, uh, 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 John, you pronounce it. You pronounce it better than I do. I, I think you, I think you spelt it wrong. But Al Nitka. Mm -hmm. or, well, it's it's how it's spelled in the uh, in that's yeah. Star. That's another star called Ant Ant Antilak. Yeah, that's what it is. That's the spelling I got right from um, you know um, Stellarium. So, and, anyways, it's well, a triple. Can I take a second here? Let me just. Yes, sir. Up. Yeah, please. Let's just look up what the name is. It's, it's, it's a triple star system. Yeah. And really one good. of three main stars of Orion. And how's it spelled? A N A N T I L A K. L A K. Yeah. And I'll just. See what comes up. You know, you never mm -hmm. know. All right, Antel. Antel is spelled differently. Antel. Let's just look up what they got. Uh, if you use the title, yeah, yeah. Let's just look up what the. Let's see. You've seen the genealogy. Oh, okay. All right. I hate when you go to the site and they. I'm not finding nothing, but it means something. That's something for you guys to look up. Look up. Yeah. That. All right. Let's continue. All right. Okay. Let's see. Where were we at? We scrolled down here. Let's move down a little bit. Now we go to NGC 2025. This is a star cluster, and it's in Mensa. Okay? Mensa. So now we're kind of steering away from, okay, we started with Orion. We're kind of steering away from Orion, yep. and we get to Mensa. Oh, okay. there's Mensa right there. Right oh, next to the fish or the swordfish called Dorado. This is Mensa right here. Okay. Yeah. So interestingly enough, the etymology from the Latin Mensa means table or altar. Ah. Mm hmm. Is I never by, knew that. Is that by? Looks like 
right below that, see, we don't have Stellarium up, but right. that looks like that ship. Well, we can bring it up. What we'll do is at the end of this, we'll bring up, you can bring up the screen and we'll right. go to each of the NGC, uh, right. you know. Right. Good, good, good. Yeah, good. All right. All right. So there it is in, in Mensa, all right? Pretty yeah. simple stuff, but this kind of gets interesting because what we're going to start to see is we're going to see um, the next years are going to be back and forth between this fishtail and between Mensa. So what I'm seeing in this, and I didn't really kind of see it until the very end, was it's as if, if I can say this early, the fish are being brought to the table. Right. All right. Okay, or okay. to the altar. It's going back and forth. And because we're escalating in the years, yeah. to me, this seems as if the last of the fish, the remnant, uh, yeah. are being brought in. You might yeah. you might say tribulation saints. Yeah, well, Revelation 7, where they're standing before, and who and John says, Who is this multitude that stands before? And he says, You know not? And he says, No. And he says, these are they that came out of great tribulation. Those would be at the time of their standing before the Lord. Would they not be the fish? You know, that, that, right. that finally brought in, right? Right. And would they not be standing yeah. before the Lord at the altar? I don't know. That's right. I don't know. It's, it's just a beautiful, that's a beautiful scripture, isn't it? To think that some yeah. of our loved ones are going to be part of that. Oh, that, all, I believe all of our loved ones. I'm claiming them. I'm claiming yeah. God's, God's Amen, gonna, brother. You know, whoever misses this particular the rapture, we don't have to fear because God's got a plan for them. I'm always telling people, don't worry about your loved ones if they're just hard against the Lord and they don't. Mm. Because there's going to be a lot that changes when the fight, when the when the day comes. Yes, we want them to come in the rapture, but not everyone's going to make the rapture. Right. Not, we already know that because of what Revelation tells us that many came out of great tribulation. Tribulation. So there's going to be a great harvest during that time of uh, tribulation. Great tribulation. Right. So Sad. don't lose hope. Don't, don't lose hope. A good thing. You're going to see them. <laughs> yes. Amen. Sharon. So the, hey, listen. This this definition, um, and you're going to see the def the definitions of these two. Um, under each of these categories, but it's interesting now that we've left Orion and we're doing this back and forth thing here. This is actually pretty great. I love this. Um, NGC 2026, it's a star cluster. Gets interesting. Between the bull's right horn tip and the club of Orion in the right hand. Notice the right horn tip and the right hand. Can you roll it up a little bit? I am. There it goes, right there. Good, good, right there. There we are. Right in between, and I and I I've got a little surprise kind of at the end. Um, for me, it's a little surprise. It may not be anything to anybody else, but I kind of like what happened here at the end. What I did. So, um, again, we're we're still in we're still in that That's month of September. Mid -trib. That's about mid trib right there. Yeah, ah, yeah, twenty twenty six. Yeah. So. Yeah. Interesting, right? Yeah. Um, so. Right. And you know the bull is where you find Pallades, right? The seven sister stars, right here. That's right. That's where those seven sister stars are at. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's interesting it's that we have, yeah, the scripture right there, in Job, right, talking yeah. about that. So is here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna release a hint early. Is that bull's tip between the uh, right hand? Uh, of Orion, Orion yeah. and the right horn of the, the bull's tip. Is that pointing to the woman? Stay tuned. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All see. right. Uh, so we got the scriptures where whereby, you know, Pallades is spoken of in Job and Isaiah, right? We know that. Um, again, spoken of in Amos, right? 5.8. Uh, interesting that again here where I just released it, but interesting that both the right horn of the bull and the right hand of Orion are representing are represented here. It yeah. just seems to parallel the scriptures where Jesus is both sitting and standing at the right hand side of the throne. Yeah. Interesting, wow. right? Yeah. So right it hand. appears yeah. right hand side, yeah. You got the right bull horn right tip hand. and the right hand. Yeah. 
It appears that the bull's right horn tip, in conjunction with the right hand club of Orion, points towards the woman in Revelation 12. For fun, I put a ruler on the screen and use the angle, and it does seem to point to the woman. Wow. So <laughs> it, it cool. really is kind of cool if you put the ruler up there and just kind of, wow, okay, okay. Gosh. Yeah, all right. Here we go. NGC 2027. It's a star cluster between, here it is, Dorado, which is the fish, well, yeah. which is the fish or the swordfish, but it's the fish tail. Yeah. And see, I got a typo right there. I said okay. Mesna. It's Mensa. 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 And there it is again. So now we've got it going back and forth between the fish tail and the Mensa, that sort of thing. Okay. Mensa definition, again, table or altar. We're going to go through that again. Dorado definition is actually mahi-mahi, which is a fish or swordfish. And in Spanish, it is called dorado. There you go. Hmm. Um, so could this signify that more of the fish, the remnant, are coming to the table or altar before the end of the tribulation in 2030? Tribulation saints, right? Yeah. Could this be a signal of that? Could this be the end of that? All right, let's go down to NGC 2028, star cluster in Mensa again. Here we are at the altar of the table, right? So yeah. we came from basically the fishtail back over to Mensa, right back to the table again. This is kind of the, uh, the story of what's happening here. There's your definitions again uh, for, you know, for the sake of brevity, okay? Yeah. Again, could this signify more fish coming to the table, right? Well, so, we know they are, bro, during the whole tribulation time. Yeah, and that's the whole point. At different times, more, right? And more likely towards the middle point because right. that's when even the Jews will realize, right? And yes. Flee and all that. So um, the world's going to definitely go into a chaotic time after the rapture, for sure, right? Yes. They'll. Right. they'll, they'll bring about their strong, their great lie, you know, their strong, hold on. Sure. Don't know who it is. Can't, can't answer it when I don't know who it is. <laughs> it's a oh, good, pol good policy to have, especially if it's an 800 or 877. Okay. Are you still with me? I'm actually not looking at John. I'm looking at my screen with here with this on it. So continue, please. Okay. All right. So we're down to 2029. NGC 2029. It's a supernova. There's your remnant right there, John. You see that? Remnant. Supernova. Remnant. 2029. Right. How convenient. 2029. There's a supernova called or labeled as a, rem a remnant. Hmm. Interesting, huh? Between yeah. Dorado, again, between Dorado and Mensa, okay? And there it is, right there. That's 2029. Well, interesting. 2029, uh, a, was it April 13th, 2029? There's that Apophos uh, hmm. thing, and, the, you know, they're all, you know, there's a lot of talk about that, but, but it's just interesting. It's April of 2029 right so just that's where we are and in remnant it just kind of identifies those last of the last at the time who knows right this is oh praise not, god I mean, this is just an interesting study you know but it is good uh, as far yeah. as the 2023 where we where it take took you uh, and stored your thoughts so again i just i think it's 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 a uh it's a compliment it's a it's a uh yeah confirmation of sorts for that revelation 12 sign time period to yeah. me it yeah. fits I said so, so i didn't make it fit it fits it's amazing <laughs> how a, popping up on us that fit right i, I, I think there's probably going to be more too i would think right up until the day we, we leave bro. yeah yeah amen to that i believe that too so, um, and I just got your definition again, so the definitions of uh, Mensa and Dorado again, just, you know, so you could read it. Uh, again, could this be more of the fish there? You know, you have your remnant now, right? The remnant coming in as a tribulation saints. And 
let's see where I'm going. Okay, NGC 2030. It's like H2, I believe, that says region. And pay attention to this word right here. It said diffuse nebula. Diffuse nebula appears on Dorado fishtail with Mensa adjacent. Okay, this is much closer, if I recall. This is much closer to that fishtail edge right there, okay, this time. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to examine this word right here though. This is, this is quite interesting. <laughs> Dorado definition. Okay. Uh, representative of the very the last tribulation saints, the very last to make full. Okay. So here's diffuse, which is in the image header has a definition in Bible hub of to pour out, to cause, to spread. To cause to flow on all sides, to spread, as to diffuse information. Think about that, John. What information are we talking about? Do you have any idea? How about the gospel? How about the gospel? How to spread the gospel? Could this be the ending of the spread of the gospel? Ah, interesting. All yes. No, that's the... And the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world, and then the end shall come. Oh, I just got Holy Ghost chill, uh, chills. <laughs> the end is right that there. That was good. That was good. To circulate, to disseminate, to scatter. That's what the Lord said he was doing in the beginning, didn't he? Beautiful. Uh, to pass by spreading every way, to diffuse itself, poured out, widely spread, not restrained. See that? Yeah. Copious, right? Yeah. Um, proxel oh. uh, as a diffuse style, a diffuse or a diffuse writer. So then I start getting into the Hebrew um, alternatives to this word diffuse, and I come across uh, the Hebrew uh, 2237 to sneeze. Um, Hebrew 22.19, to scatter, fan, winnow, okay? Uh, a primitive root, to toss about by implication. There it is, to diffuse, okay? So it's kind of cross-referencing each other is what's going on here. Um, and then, of course, the Greek 41.37, to make full, to complete. You know what there I just it got? is. You know what I just got to diffuse is... See, when Christ comes back and says he's got the double-edged sword in his mouth and the word and he just speaks, it's finished, you know, it's over with. There's a diffusing of whatever chaotic chaos mm. is going on in the world. And it's just, it just ends it's just by his word. Really, you know. <laughs> it just, it's Boy, beautiful how it just fits. He's coming. He's coming it's just beautiful. Us. Early. That, that's what I love about all this with the with the looking ahead as you go, yep, and that's all during the, the tribulation. But go back to 2023. 20, and remember, you just said the double-edged sword. Remember what Dorado means. It's fish or sword fish. Right, sword, which yeah. is a, yeah, yeah. Amazing, amazing. So 2023, you want to go back there? Yeah, do you want me to pull up uh yeah, so uh, go ahead. Yeah, bring that up. Uh, bring up Stellarium. I'm going to close this out so we can look yeah. at Stellarium, okay? okay, so I can see yeah. with you. Yeah. Um, I'm going to save that because I made changes to it. All right. I guess we're doing it. Yeah. yeah. How's that? So, yeah, fantastic. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make my screen bigger, too, so I can see that better. And we'll just give you confirmation of it, the screenshots. We're going to go and look at, uh, and you're going to type in your search box, NGC 2023, wow. all the way up to 2030. All right, let's see. We'll do NGC. NGC. NGC what? 2023. 2023, yeah. Enter. Yeah. All right. right there. there you go. There's a confirmation. Right the there it is. That's pretty interesting. Right on that star. Do you know what? On that. that do you know what that star aligns with, brother? The Talk great, to me. The Great Pyramid. 
in Giza. Oh, whoa! That just blows my mind because oh, I gotta say this, John. I'm gonna I'm gonna let the cat out of the bag. Brother John and I, specifically Brother John, have been drawn to Egypt lately, and we've been doing this massive study. Well, John has been doing most of it. Uh, well, that's interesting that you just said that. Look at the, you guys are seeing this? Look at this. That's Al Nitka oh, right wow. there, that bright star. That's the first star in the belt of Orion. Look mm -hmm. at the red. Look at the color. I mean, this is in the galaxy. This is where uh, the NGC is, right? In this, 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 yes. this is, you can see it's been cut and placed in. How the, beautiful. It's, but look at the, it's like, oh, look at this. You see the. Like a cloud. Yeah, but do you understand what I'm seeing here? Who mm. of the Lord was beaten and bruised for hours. Oh, don't get, oh, don't get Lord. us crying. <laughs> no, but look at the. It's almost to me. I got to tell you, man, this is pretty. Wow, I'm seeing like the top portion of the Lord, the Lord's head, his side, his arm. I'm, I don't know. I'm seeing things right in this picture. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but I'm. I started out looking at this, and I and I kind of, Lord, you can see the beard. So it's his beard. There's his gut. There's his his bruise through his left side, or I guess his right side. His right side. Look, look right at that. Side. Look at the right. Can you see the right arm? Arm is going. The, the, uh, the, that's the left arm that the pointer's at. No, the come down to the bottom. Right there. Right there. Now, this whole thing right here on the right there. Now, scroll that arm right straight up. The light colored. A little bit to your right, John. Over here. Oh, this way. To, no, 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 no. Where you were just at. Keep well, going to the left. The head, right? And, okay. This All right. Lord, Lord. Well, it looks like an arm there too. So, but anyways, that's interesting. Yeah. But I mean, I'm just looking at it as the colors mm. of the of that where the NG 2023 is. Mm -hmm. And and then guess what? Right below him, right below. If this is, I just I gotta tell you, I'm Holy Spirit. Like, mm. I, I'm breathless at the moment because it looks like a wound in in a in a body. Okay, in the heavens. And then what do we have down here? But the blood. There's the blood, and here's Al Nitka, which means wounded one. Mm. I mean, brothers and sisters, I didn't expect to see this. <laughs> I did not expect to see this. Is September the the ninth? I just wonder what if we just go. Oh, I don't know what happened here. I just went to the I went to to the tenth month. I don't know where we are now. It must. Well, anyway, it's back over we here. Just yeah, yeah. But uh, that was just pretty amazing right there. That beautiful imagery, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I mean, mm. I didn't expect to get any of that. That was that was a bonus. And that's why we do these impromptus, because it's like, what will we find? We just found that. That was a beautiful picture. Yeah. I got to find it again just so I can leave with that. Uh, and take a screenshot of it if you want to. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. NG, NGC. Yep, twenty twenty three. Yep, right there, and then you scroll in on it. Where is it? There it is. See, it's way, way out. See, these are. See, that's that's one thing I couldn't do in my in my screenshots is I couldn't zoom in to see exactly what that is. Such a that's such a nice find. Hmm. Wow. That that's blowing my mind. Yeah. You know, I started out looking at this. Well, that looks like skin color. And then I'm looking at it and I'm like, could that be like like a picture in the heavens behind this? There's the wounded one right there with the bright star. That's the first star that lines up with the the Great Pyramid at the Giza, which is in Isaiah 19, uh, mm. 19 through 21, which talks about a monument, a sign that will be there at the <laughs> Lord's return, which is 2030. It's just... I don't know. I'm speechless. Yeah. It's unusual for me. <laughs> okay. Um, wow. Screenshot anybody that wants to take it. There it is. Yeah, absolutely. That's a good time to take it right now. And I did. I took one. Uh, so. <laughs> I'll take the same one. Okay. So now what do we need? Anything else? We're going to go to 20. Want to go to NGC 2024? Yep. Because this is the same area, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's in the same area. 
No, it moves. It moves. Well, Ryan. it's it's let's still see. an Orion. Oh, I know, but let's just see. Yeah. yeah, okay. NG, yeah. But it does move. You said like in, by 20, let's see, 2026. Let's go to NGC 20. Well, 2026, no, you'll get you'll get the uh, uh, the table and the fish is where you're probably going to go. Yeah, I just want to see what that is. Don't you? Because we're not going to be here for any of that. That's way up yeah. there. But I'm just yeah. looking at, okay, so there's the horn. There's the, the right horn of, of uh, can you zoom out real quick? And you know what? I mean, if you want, I mean, I don't have, what did I do with my ruler? I took my ruler and put it back. I think. Yep. Um, so yeah. stop right about there. You see that? Stop right there. You see the, the tip of the, of the horn and the, the right hand. If you take a ruler, where does that run to? It runs right into the woman. <laughs> Let's see. I'll do it. You can't see them. Yeah. I got my screen. I'm just taking it. I'm gonna. Data. I'm gonna do it too because it's like yeah. it points so right, it, it, uh, right between the two where the where the sign yeah, well, is there. The tip of the horn or that that star, and then just go. It's left right down right. into the woman. It yeah. goes right down into yeah. that yeah. square. The other, the other, not so much, but it because it's it's almost like you're not even getting the star. But but that's okay. It's you're in between the two. That's all you're worried about is in between those well, two. Um, I'll tell you what. If you go from that horn, if you do it, it's it's in it. The both of them do line up from the, the horn and also the club. If you take the two stars in the club that you can barely see, we get the right, right. Where it comes to, if you take those two stars, line it directly up with those right two down into Spica. Yeah, but if if not, if not, if you go the other way, it goes right into the in her, her womb, into that box. So interesting. Hey, brothers and sisters, if you want to take a, a screenshot of this and 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 just take a ruler if you want to and just look at that, that's that's really better yet, interesting. Better yet, it's a free it's a free uh, program. Just download Stellarium. It well, is. yeah, a lot of people don't know how to use it though. You know, that's true. so. Um, anyway. And the thing, the thing too is, is that uh, yeah, this is a, this is a nice image. Could could uh, could that be pointing to her? Uh, very well, could be. Let me set. I'm just going to set timing here. Let's see. I'm going to go. We just want to change the date here to 2020. Oh, look at that. We have to do that. We're at G. We're at the NGC yeah. 2026, I believe, right? 2026. Yep. Yeah. Here it is. That's right. the midpoint, isn't it? About well, the midpoint. No, I think midpoint's going to be Passover. Wow. That is midpoint. nice. Go midpoint, so Passover. Let's see. It would be 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's, that's December. Then you got January, February, March, April. I believe April. Fairly right in there. April something. Mm. Just just a, in general, April 15th or something. I don't know. I'll just set it at April 15th just so we can. And then I'll go NGC. Oh, it's still over here. See, NGC didn't move. Yeah, none of those do move. Well, they move. That's the beauty the of it. Time, though, from the first well, time. Um, the NG, NGC, not a lot, though. NGC was lined up. The first one was right next to Alnica. Well, you got to remember, that's 2023 and 2024 yeah. Ryan, and then we leave 2025, 2026. We start going into uh, Dorado down here and into uh, the swordfish, right? Right. You know, so that's where it goes, those years go, which well, tells the story, in my it. opinion. Yeah. It but does. it starts in Orion, just like the scripture says, right? Amos 5 8, right? Yep. Starts right here in Orion. I just how appropriate. Very interesting. So it's all about the timing. It's not about um, you know the images are there forever, but it's it's it, it, you know uh, it's about the timing. Let me do the tenth. Let me go to October seventh. October seventh. Trying to remember October 7th, I think, which is on the clock there, 2030, which is atonement. I'm just looking. 
and then put back in the ng ngc twenty thirty. Yeah, I think you have to. You have to. Yeah, there it is, right there between. Yeah, Dorado Tell. and Mensa. Mm -hmm. And look at this. See this right here. Mm -hmm. What is that? Let's see what that is. I've got to turn the names on. What's it? What is it? Looks like a crown. What's it say? R E T I C U L L U M. Rectilum. I don't know what that is. I don't know what it's a picture of. Right. But to me, it looks a bit like a crown, but I don't know. A ring. Let's get back. Let's let's run each one of the screens. Let's go back to 2020 uh, NGC. What do we do? 2023, 2024. Let's uh, do 2025 and just uh, move down the chain uh, so we can show the brothers and sisters yeah. where where those screenshots came from. For 24? Um, sure, why not? Well, okay, 24. 24, I think we were still in Orion. All right. Yeah. Yes, we are. Okay, 2025 then. Yeah, in that same same area. Yeah, yeah. And where is this? Where is it? See, it's right there. Interesting. Yeah, that is interesting. Yeah, earlier, it was down here. It was further down. Mm hmm but it does let's see let me now go back to 2026 ngc ngc 2026 gotta back it out so we can see where we are <laughs> you know, right between there again oh see where it's it you know what it's not ngc moving i don't believe it's or it's not the the galaxy in back what is what's moving is is the 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 the, the constellations because the earth is moving you know that's the thing so where it mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. sure but they stay in a general area they stay in that same general area is what i'm saying yeah and again it's not about the constellations it's about you know it starts in orion it, it moves down into mensa and dorado tells that story um and that's kind of where this whole study was aiming at that so <laughs> because you know we're in we're in line with the Revelation twelve sign. The story is being completed. Is what's happening, in my opinion. Everybody's going to have their own opinion. Yeah. NGC and twenty twenty seven. Twenty twenty seven. NGC. Back to Dorado and Mensa. I believe that's where we start going down in in that area. Ah, interesting. Yeah. So it's kind of the back and forth there. And at the very end, 2030, that seems to be the Look close. Wow. It's interesting, right? Really, it gets so, so, so full of stars that. That's yeah. a lot of stars, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty too. All right, let's see what else. 2028. You still have that mass right there. That, 2027, right there. That's 2027. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go back to 2028, NGC 2028. Uh, NGC 2028. Oh, look at back that. In, back into Mensa. Yeah, look at the colors. <laughs> I mean, you know, wow, God, we we serve an amazing God, Amen. Amen. The yeah. Beauty of the heavens is, we can't describe the beauty that He has placed. You know, mm. we really can't. It just it's without. It's true. Remains without words. All right, let's see, twenty twenty nine. NGC 2029. And that's that remnant. That's that supernova. Yeah. Yeah, that's hitting more of an actual look at the cluster that it shows. That's huge, too. I mean, it's so far out. I mean, right, like, yeah. Light years or whatever. But that's kind of neat. 
looks like I don't know what it looks like. It's it'd be great if it was <laughs> fine, you know, you could really, you know, detail it would come out. You know how like sometimes you turn on Google Earth and it takes a while, but then everything gets more clear, you know, it takes time. Yeah, it comes into focus, yeah. All right, let's do the 2030 NG. And again, that one, that 2029 was the remnant. NG2030. Back out a little bit, see where it is. Where is it? There it is right by the tail. Mm -hmm. That's not supposed to be a swordfish or what? Dorado swordfish or swordfish? Mahi Mahi. Oh, Mahi Mahi, which is, yeah, which is not a swordfish, but. Right, but there's some, they label it, they label that as a swordfish. And some of the definitions, you'll find that. Uh, what's it look or like? Or either that it was the old definition. Never know what you find when you scope in. It just looks like that, that could be interesting. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. So that was good. Is that is that your study pretty much? Can we wrap that up? I think so. That that is it. Yeah. And it's all about again, it's all about the timing. I can't emphasize that enough. It 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 it's all about that Revelation 12 sign and how this seems to complement that um and tells an end story. For for me at least it does. Of the last of the fish, the remnant being brought in to the table or to the altar before Christ. Amen. So yeah, amen. Um, you know, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope everybody enjoys this. It's a, it's a blessing if if, if everybody uh, another understands day, it. Another day or another hour or 10 minutes or five mm. minutes waiting. We, we don't know what's going to happen from, from day to day, brothers and sisters. We're just waiting on the king to come. Uh, like Brother Patrick, uh, his last video that he put out where he just, blows me away I, I watched that this morning and he was talking about uh you know the story and he's just basically showing all the different names that are in the the woman and i was trying to figure out the odds of you know all Good this luck. happening at one time I, I went and looked at a video to try to how do you calculate odds and and uh just a real quick real quick uh uh, basic thought here, and if anybody else can be more clear on how, how what are the odds, right, of, of what we're waiting for, um, I just found that it, it, it's actually one chance, right, because you got to say it's been 1993 years. We're now seven years. If Christ died on the cross, we have to do this because it was, he did, but if it was on in, in 30 AD, which I believe 100%, it, it it's more than likely because of what was written. So I just went from 30 AD to September, what did I figure, 20, 23rd. I, I figured to the 23rd of September, day before my birthday. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> what a birthday present that would be if it was the 24th <laughs> or, or the 25th. I'd even, you know, whatever. I'm hoping it happens before any of that. But we're now in September. I'm amazed. But so the odds are one chance. And I calculated the day. So at any of the days since it's, since the, the death of Christ, April the 4th, uh, 30 AD, I figured, until September the 23rd, 2023, it's 78, uh, 728,103 days, which there's one chance of the rapture happening, right? One chance, mm -hmm. 728,000. 103 times right the days any day right. during the last that you know uh years since it's been since christ died on the cross so then i said well wait if it's just once a year that this rapture could happen and we're now looking at that once a year period of the, the season the feasts you know right the fall feast everyone has always been you know the raptures rapture can happen we cut the the 728,103 days in odds of it happening at any particular time since Christ, uh, we cut that down by like hundreds of thousands of times. And now we're basically looking at if it only is going to happen at a feast, Rosh Hashanah, Atonement, or Tabernacles, which mm -hmm. is only once one of those feasts happen, they haven't been fulfilled. So it's that's the interesting part. It only is one in one nine nine three. Oh so no, kidding! Really, one 
in a little over a thousand, one in less than two thousand, being that if the rapture is going to happen on a specific feast hmm. season, then we're at one in one hundred uh, one thousand nine hundred and ninety three. That's I'd go play the lotto, even though I don't play the lotto. <laughs> I'd go play if that was the odds for the billion. You know, billion. Well, one chance and you know. A little over a thousand, you know, your good chance, you know. So at any rate, the the odds of it happening on one day, right? But if you count every day, it could happen anytime imminently. Now, if you do the hours, it becomes more. But the, the the interesting part about it is then I'm trying to figure out, well, as when Christ came, you've heard people do the odds before and how many, you know, what it was was astronomical yeah. odds of these things happening. So it's not that the odds are against us, right? The odds are for us. Think about it. It's only been 700. I was wishing that it came out to 726, you know, the Harpazo number, but it came out more. But at any rate, I'm sure you could find out work it to be that. At any rate, 728,103. That's still pretty good odds, considering, mm -hmm. right? Considering it's only going to happen once, all right? And other people think it's going to happen. It's going to be another. I'll tell you what, the odds of it happening a second time, maybe at midpoint of, you know, a rapture at midpoint, because there are the two witnesses to consider. Yeah. But who knows? All right. I'm just I'm just looking for the <laughs> the first rapture. <laughs> yeah. Aren't we all? <laughs> Aren't all right. we all? Brother, I think we'll just give a blast. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll give it a blast. Right off, and uh, God bless you all, brothers and sisters. Uh, keep looking up. The day is near. Jesus is coming. Thank you, Brother Ronnie, for your study, man. It was, it's been a blast. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Ready? <laughs> Did you blow it? I didn't hear you blow. I did blow it. I did well, blow I it. it. I want to hear it. I want you want to hear it? it? Yeah, I was. It was perfect, brothers and sisters, wasn't it? I got yeah. it beat today. I think I got it beat. It, you know what? You know what? Because I was facing away from the mic, so as not to kill the brothers and sisters' ears. <laughs> oh, all right. There we go. I think they heard it. I think the mic, <laughs> the mic, like kind of dims it out a little bit when you. Yeah, when I did that intentionally though, so it wouldn't it wouldn't blast so loud. So. All right. Well, God bless you all, brothers and sisters. This God bless you. Good. It God has been fun. See you in the air.